this is going to be a short one today. I didn't take any trades today because it's a uh, day before Thanksgiving and uh, FOMC. And I had a pretty good Monday and Tuesday, so I just don't want to give anything back. Um, but I'm still watching, and it was actually kind of a clean day. There were some nice uh, opportunities. So starting on the weekly chart, we clearly rejected off of last week's low and are continuing the push up towards last week's high. And uh, I don't know if it's going to make it there this week, but I do feel like we are headed there in the near future. And uh, looking at the daily, we're just continuing with the momentum from Tuesday and had a nice close close to the high of the day. We're holding this range low, this kind of support resistance flip, if you will. Um, and I think we have targets here that are intriguing um, that we could see price deliver up into next week. We could fail at the high or close to the high. That's always possible. But for now, I'm definitely looking at um, staying long this market and if we look down into how today played out on the one hour again we pushed up yesterday into the close consolidated around the same level throughout Asia and then had a bit of a gyration here breaking the Asia high coming back down breaking the high coming back down and then right at New York open large impulse up then a sharp sell-off which had me thinking, okay, maybe maybe we're gonna reverse around FOMC because this is Monday's this is Monday's high. It looked like we were pushing up from it and to see a immediate rejection um, before FOMC made me think, okay, well maybe we're gonna just break the support, lose this, and uh, create the high of the week and continue selling off towards now we have these equal lows here. So I thought that, hey, maybe that could be happening. Uh, but what we saw with FOMC, the market reversed right at the support, held this daily, uh, this daily level, Monday's high, and rallied back up into the close of the day. So if we look at it, how could we have traded it if it was a normal day? Market opens, aggressive rally up, but you know there's no real support between between the low and the high. Um, so it just came right back down. This is where the only support is. And so, you know, you could have been a buyer here on this first touch, but I would have liked to see the market prove itself a little bit more. And so I like that it bounced here. And then if you think about it, it was showing a pretty aggressive reaction. Before this candle closed, it looked like we were pushing, a, we, we'd come down, created an inside bar right here on this candle, and then started to push up above that inside bar. And then, so it looked pretty bullish, like we were definitely bouncing here, um, which is nice to see because then the market comes down and takes any buyers who got in and didn't want to put their stop all the way below the low here and they just put it below here as it looked like okay this is going to be safe this is going to rebound sharply and what does the market do it comes back down it takes um takes these people out of the trade quite possibly and uh hits the extreme rejects off of the open consolidation candle breakout close near the high follow through on the next candle, close near the high. And then we are left with this imbalance on the 15 minute. So I think this would have been a great trade, but of course, at the time of entry, it was literally right at FOMC. Um, and so, yeah, I was never, I was definitely not gonna trade it, but if this were a normal day, it would have been a great trade. As you can see, we come up here, I think you could just do like a fib, came back down to the 50%. 50% middle of this uh, imbalance. You have the confluence as well with this little, uh, basically it's a lower time frame breaker. This push up before the sell off that took liquidity right here and then rallied. So as you can see, this was the news announcement. 
And then uh, the next opportunity to enter, if you missed that one, would have been here. We created this imbalance here. First impulse fell short of the high, created this imbalance. So this could have been a trade right around this candle. Your stop could be below the bodies or just you know in between the this candle and the low, something like that. And then you could target 2R, which is probably what I would have done if I were trading, um, or aim for the high. Could have gotten about 2.5, so that would have been a nice trade too. And uh, market kind of stalled out here. So all in all, pretty bullish right now, heading into uh, the holiday. I know there's gonna be uh, shortened hours, Thursday, Friday. So this is where we stand. And then also just quickly taking a peek at the dollar index since we've been looking at it all week. Sure enough, we created this gap and did not hold it. We rejected off of this one here, came down, and then that makes these these lows a target. And it's already taken out Thursday's low, the set from the 17th. I thought for a chant for a minute that we had a chance of um, holding this level, origin of this swing up. So I thought, hey, that might take this low right here, and we might see a bounce, but it didn't happen. Market's just very weak. There's no level here that needed to be to be tested. If you think about it, all of that liquidity, that really the liquidity was right here from this imbalance and it had already been absorbed, in my opinion, right here. So it had been absorbed. You see all this accumulation right here. So this becomes a target more than a um, point where you'd expect a reaction from all of this absorbed this liquidity and once it rallies away and gets rejected from the higher time frame up here that's what's happening up here the higher time frame is stepping in to re-engage selling and they're going to offload those positions down here below this low and that's what might continue to happen down towards this monthly level again all right so that's it for today and uh, we'll be back tomorrow or the next day for another recap